prompting her to go crazy in the kitchen. She's going to make a, I forget how she put it, but a big old pan of lasagna tonight. Thank you so much, Michelle. I'll be there at 7. And we're going to curl up under a blanket <laughs> and for the next six months just... <laughs> Put on the pounds, right? <laughs> We're looking forward to that kind of weather, aren't we? I mean, come on. <laughs> I know. It is gloomy out there today. Overcast, foggy, misty. It, it is mild, but it's really not improving as we look out at our skies in East Providence right now from our Kettle Point camera. Temperatures are in the upper 50s. North winds at six dew points. Imagine that air temperature, and that means the atmosphere is saturated and we have the fog, and it's been dense this morning. Lingering fog into the afternoon, but daytime hours and so it's not as much of a factor for traveling once the sun sets this evening we could see another dense fog advisory issue potentially we do have some showers in the forecast for tonight and at least first half of the day tomorrow lots of clouds again on wednesday then finally getting back to sunshine thursday it's looking like a dry weekend for us and we'll have that first call on halloween day coming up in just a few minutes right now it's spooky looking in newport new bedford plymouth westerly all with about a quarter mile visibility dense fog advisory set to expire in a few minutes again the fog lingers after that with temperatures around 58 in Providence, 60 New Bedford and in Newport. You have to look well to the west of us to find rain showers. It's drizzly and misty, but scattered showers should remain mostly to the west of us during the day today. There's not much measurable rain. This system just kind of fizzling out to the west of us. Meanwhile, offshore, there is an area of low pressure, a little wave here that's not really showing much sign of getting organized, but the National Hurricane Center is actually watching it for possible development. The probability of seeing that happen and drop down to 40%. This is going to head northward and with it we will have some tropical moisture that will come our way and give us our next round of showers in late tonight and tomorrow. Here's the hour by hour forecast detailing things for you. Noontime today, mid 60s, cloudy skies, couple of sprinkles passing through. The same goes for three o'clock in the afternoon, about 68 in Providence and in Taunton. Still could see some fog along the coastline. And that spreads inland again this evening. So another foggy night, scattered showers starting to develop as the evening and night goes on. And tomorrow morning with those scattered rain showers expected, some briefly heavier rainfall is possible depending on how close that disturbance comes to us. Right now it's more towards eastern mass from the Cape and the islands that would be more prone to the heavy rain than across uh, Rhode Island or Connecticut. This is noon on Wednesday, so rain in the midday hour is likely to move out and other than a spotty shower in the afternoon and evening, it's drier second half of the day. On the bay today, wind staying light out of the east northeast about five knots. High tide earlier this hour at eight o'clock. Visibility, of course, poor in the fog. Seven day forecast showers and mild air for Wednesday Again, mostly first half half of the day. Thursday's highs upper 60s to low 70s and the sun is back. Beautiful day to be outside. It stays dry and bright for Friday and the weekend, but cooler, more seasonable air. Again,